If I was a professional, I'd have had a coyote right here. Look at that set, how that was worked. Bait all dug out of the dirt hole. Nice big dropping right there next to the hole. And foot pattern pad right there. Looks like he dug up, covered the set a little bit. He never fired the trap, so trap is right there. So what was our mistake? He stepped where he needed to step. Uh, we put the trap where he needed to step, but the ground was so saturated from all that rain we got that uh, it just kind of held everything together up above the trap and it did not fire. That is a user error. I Today, I have actually, this is checked set number uh, 27, I believe, 27 or 28, and I've, every single one of them I have... Uh, Dug, set the trap off, dug the out the trap bed, filled with dry dirt, um, and reset and covered with dry dirt because it's going to freeze tonight. But I figured yesterday I would be able to get by um, because it was above freezing overnight. It was supposed to be above freezing overnight, and um, you know things were starting to dry out a little bit. And I I thought these would still function even with uh, you know some wet dirt above the trap. Uh, apparently. Apparently it didn't function here. So the, that's what separates the professionals from the amateurs, I guess, is you know making sure those sets are working at all times because this was a coyote that I missed. And it's uh, there's no one to blame here but myself. So anyway, I'm going to rebate this. Oh, there's another dropping right there. So he hung out here for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> or maybe another coyote, hard to say. But I'm going to rebate this. Rebate, rebate it, reset the trap, get some nice dry dirt in here, have the set working for tonight. Maybe they'll be back. If not, I'll be here for a, a couple more days and, uh, and try to catch them. We'll see what happens. But you never know. You always got to act like a professional and have these sets working every single day if you want to make the big catches.